this video, we're going to start to set up our payment options for our e-commerce app with Django and Python. Hey guys, John Alder here from CodingMe.com, and in this video, we want to start talking about how to accept payments for your e-commerce app. So we're going to be doing PayPal and Stripe. We'll start with PayPal. It's a little bit easier. In this video, we're going to start to set up our sandbox accounts with PayPal. We're going to need two different sandbox accounts. We'll set those up in this video, and that will allow us to test things out as we build this out. So let's head over to our code. Okay, so like I said, we're gonna start with PayPal. And if you don't already have a PayPal account, obviously you need a PayPal account. So head over to paypal.com and sign up for that. Now you can sign up as a personal or a business account. If you're planning on using this or accepting payments, you're probably gonna want a business account. So I would sign up for a business account. I believe we can do all this sandbox stuff with a personal account as well. I don't think it really matters for those purposes, but if you're gonna use this to build out an e-commerce site of some sort, sign up for a business account. But like I said, you could use a personal for now. So uh, go ahead and sign up for that. Then once you do that, we need to set up a sandbox account. And a sandbox account is sort of like a fake account. It's a test account. Actually, we're going to need two of them. And they allow us to test all kinds of different things in order to make sure we get our website built out correctly. So you don't want to be testing with actual credit cards and actual you know, money changing hands and using your actual business account. You're going to want your sandbox account. So uh, let's go ahead and head over to developer dot paypal.com forward slash home and this is where we can set up our sandbox account so uh, once you've already got your regular paypal account set up you can come over here and click log in and log in with your paypal account not not any fake account your actual paypal account so uh, i can log in here and here we see the developer dashboard so what we want to do is come down here and you'll notice it's it's switched to sandbox not live which is what we want and come down here to sandbox accounts. And you'll notice by default, there are two sandbox accounts. Now, I don't recommend you use these because these are complicated. We're gonna be typing these in to our website. Uh, we're gonna be making fake orders with the personal account. You have to type in that, this email address every time. And that's, you know, what is this? SBH, uh, you don't know, we don't want that. We want something easy we could just type in and, and bang out in order to test things. So. What we want to do is come over here and create an account. We're going to create two of them. And we need two different types of account. We need a personal account and a business account. Why do we need both? Well, the business account is obviously going to be the one we put on our Django website in order to accept charges, right? The personal account is what we're going to be using as a test account in order to buy stuff from ourselves, right? Fake stuff, right? So like our e-commerce site sells books. I might log in to the site put three books in my shopping cart and then go to check out. I'll use this personal account to check out as if I'm a buyer, right? So you need both of them. So let's go ahead and first create the personal one. We don't want to just create this using the default things. Let's come down here and click the customized one. We want to create custom ones here. It's sort of important. So we want personal, select your county and region. I'm going to leave it at United States because that's where I am. And then here we need a fake email address. And I'm going to call this um, personal at codemytest.com uh, and then you need a password. Now write this password down and you can see this is not a real email address. There is no codemytest.com website. Just make something up, but remember it and write it down. And in fact, I'm going to pull up a notepad here and I'm going to say personal and this is what personal at codemytest.com and then for the password, I'm just going to say password one, two, three, four, exclamation point, right? Uh, so, but keep track of this because we're going to need these later on, right? And you could do this optional if you want or whatever. You don't have to. And here we can set a default payment method we have. Let's say we could start out saying, let's put a thousand fake dollars in this account. So I'll put a thousand there. A very verified bank account. Yes. Uh, you could do select payment card. We'll just do PayPal. It'll also give us a Visa card. Uh, okay, go ahead and create this. Okay, it says it was created successfully, and we see there it is. So we've got our personal one. Now we need the business ones. Let's come back up here, click create account again. And again, we want to come down here and do a custom. So click that little thing there. And this is going to be a business. It's going to be in America. And here I'm going to say business at codemytest.com. And again, I'm going to copy and save this to my notepad so that I can remember it. Uh, save business, go password. Again, I'm going to say password, one, two, three, four, whatever. But write that down so we don't forget it. 
Uh-oh, password cannot include the word password. Okay, so uh, let's instead do uh, one, two, three, four, D-R-O-W-S-S-A-P. Is that password backwards? <laughs> All right. So uh, get rid of that one. Paste that in. All right, that worked. And again, put your name or not, doesn't really matter. And for the business account, let's say the business has $5,000 in it, whatever. Uh, that's fine. So verified bank account, yes. Keep all these. If you want to change it to MasterCard, you can, but you don't need to. So we'll just leave it like that. And let's click create account. Okay, so we've got our business and our personal. If we want to delete these later, we can. Uh, you'll notice you can't delete these by default because they're the sort of the default ones that they created when we built this account, but we're gonna ignore them. We're not gonna use these for anything. From now on, we're gonna be use these two things. That's why we want to be sure and save these like that. So, okay. Now, after this video, I'm going to change these passwords because I'll show you why in just a second. So now we can come up here and let's log out. And now we can make sure that this is all working correctly by going to sandbox.paypal.com forward slash sign in. And here, you don't wanna sign in with your actual PayPal account. This is the sandbox area. So what we wanna do is log in with each one of these. And we wanna want just make sure these are working. There we go, this one was password one, two, three, four. There we go. And we see sure enough, this is our personal account. It has a thousand dollars in it. This is fake money, of course. And you can see we've got a fake checking account and a fake Visa card and uh, looks good. So you can click on here. <laughs> you can play with your profile if you want. Here's your address if we needed to write in an address. Uh, phone numbers if we needed to write in a phone number, for instance, on a order form page or something, we could use those. Here's our email, that's great. And uh, very, very cool. So, okay, let's log out here. And just to make sure, Let's log in with the other account. I wanna sort of test these to make sure they're working. So come back up here, log in. We're still at sandbox.paypal.com. And instead of our personal one, we want the business one. Here we go. Paste that in, log in. And this should be the business one. It should have $5,000 in it, fake dollars. And sure enough, there it is. And you'll notice this screen looks different than the other one. This is the business one. They're actually changing this as we speak. I have several PayPal accounts for several different businesses, companies that I own, and some of them look like this. Some of them look like that other page we just looked at. I think PayPal is rolling out slowly a new look and setup for their pages. Doesn't matter. This looks good. We can, of course, come up here and go to profile settings, play with this stuff. Uh, you can see there's a fake phone number. Uh, what else do we have? Personal information. That's about all. We can go to account settings. This looks like a real PayPal account. We can click on these things. Yeah, it looks like this is all we're gonna get out of that. But no matter, this looks great. You'll notice it says test store up here and we're good to go. So we've got our two sandbox accounts, a personal one and a business one. Now we need to start integrating PayPal into our actual Django site. And we'll look at that in the next video. So my name is John Elder from codemy.com and I'll see you in the next video.